Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would um, talk to you about compact rangefinder film cameras with a um, fixed lens. I've got four of them here and I'm just going to quickly discuss each one of them. They're not all functioning properly at the moment. A couple of them I need to put batteries that will work in them to get them going. The other two are in a sense functioning and I'm going to um, just quickly introduce these four and then go through each one just briefly and then tell you which one I like the most and why. So first one I'll start off with is this Voigtlander and I'll come back to that in a minute. Then I'll talk about this Yashica they're all made out of metal and very similar size and specifications, these cameras. This one is the Konica C35. And this one here is the Ricoh 500G. Beautiful, chunky little cameras they are, and they feel great. And they're all range finders. So let's start, go back with this one I started off with, the Voigtlander. So this Voigtlander. can see the lens on it there. It's a um, 40 millimetre f2.3 maximum aperture I think and uh, this is a, a rangefinder camera. You can adjust the distance with a little split image finder in the, in the middle there. I'm just having a go at doing that now. At this close it doesn't focus up too close to well at that distance from the, the camera but um, basically I've got a battery in this one and uh, when I just looking at the light that I've got in here coming from that screen it's telling me I've got a reading of the 60th of a second at f2.8 and I've got this set on AS, ISO 400 but that's you don't have much choice in changing that you've got to accept what you get you can't change the shutter speed on this camera it's a fully automatic camera in one sense. All you can really do is um, focus and, and compose and shoot. But being a Voigtlander, I'm sure it's got a, a very nice lens on it. Um, this is a Scope Arex lens, Voigtlander. Beautiful brand. There you are. That's that one. So let's see what else we've got. Yashica. I love the Ashika cameras. These are all manual focus. This is long before autofocus came in. And this is a very similar sort of a camera. And uh, once again, I haven't got a battery that's working in this. Well, it sort of almost gets it going. Maybe if I add more light, it might work. The needle's working. <laughs> and uh, But this has got a zone focus. This has got a zone focus there, so you can't actually... Um, you can only set it by those symbols there, if you can see that there. So it's not a true rangefinder camera. This is a, um, a zone focus type camera. And you can only really use it on auto. And uh, when you look for it, it'll give you your shutter speed and it'll give you your f-stop as before, but your focusing is not as precise either. So that's that one. This one here, the Voigtlander. They're all similar size and shape and feel. They almost look like they're made by the same people with the, the way they've been put together. Uh, this one here has got a 40mm lens, f2.3. I might have said that before. I've got this set on uh, 400 ISO. And um, you can focus this one. It's got a proper range finder with a split image in it. And I can do that. I can see that bringing the two images together there. And when I... Uh, just slightly depress the button. That's giving me f 2.8 at the 60th of a second. And um, that one there is quite a good camera. And no, no doubt with a Voigtlander, it will give you a good image. But the thing is, the um, you don't have control unless you change the ISO on these cameras over over what settings, what, what shutter speed you're getting and what aperture you're getting. But no doubt, it's... If it's working properly, and this one is working, when I go outside and, and use the meter, it's working fine. I have got a film in that one. I haven't finished it yet. 
and no doubt that's a nice little rangefinder camera. Now this last one here, the Rico 500G. Incidentally, these have all got uh, yeah the um, the Yashica hasn't got a the Yashica hasn't got a hot shoe, but it's got a PC socket. These other ones, if you want to use flash, I think they've only got a hot shoe. Yeah, they haven't got a PC socket. They've got a hot shoe. But this one here, it's pretty much got everything. <clears throat> I haven't got a battery in this that's working, and I'll tell you one of the little problems with this, but this is my favourite rangefinder film camera from back in the day. This is back in about, oh, I don't know, the 1970s. I used to recommend people get hold of these, uh, and I'll put a link to a, an article I wrote on my blog about this particular camera afterwards. So this has got a hot shoe. <clears throat> it's got a PC socket. It's got a rangefinder focusing. You can adjust the apertures, and it's also got an auto setting. So it's a very versatile camera. It's got um, lines inside the viewfinder, beautiful viewfinder, lines inside the viewfinder to um, allow for parallax error and all that sort of thing. And it's got a self-timer. <clears throat> the Yashica was the only one of the other two that didn't have a self-timer. This has got a self-timer. They've all got a... Um, the Voigtlander doesn't allow you to put a, um, a remote plunger into the, you know, a, a cable release into it, but these other three do. The Voigtlander doesn't. So it's a, it's a beautiful little camera. The only, and I'm going to open this one up. I've got two of these. I like them so much I've got two of them. Back in the day when I was starting out in wedding photography and people were coming to me and saying, Jeff, I need to get a camera. They're wanting to progress from the Instamatic, Kodak Instamatic, to something like this. And uh, rather than buying an SLR, and I reckon I probably was a good rep for Rico because I reckon I probably sold about four or five of these or, or encouraged four or five people to actually buy these cameras, including my sister-in-law who used it for some years. And uh, <clears throat> they're a beautiful little camera. This one I think I have got... No, I haven't got a film in it. I'm going to open it up. There is a problem, though, with a lot of these old cameras. You can look at the back. I took it on a trip to uh, Sydney one year and I took all these photos with it. Uh, I was on a work trip and I thought this is great I'm really enjoying using this camera but when I came back there was um, lots of um, uh, what's the word there was light had got into the picture and ruined some of the shots and the reason was you can see that I've covered this here this is probably doesn't do anything at all but I I put some um, um, I painted over there because the actual light seals in the camera had gone and it was letting light in. So with all of these cameras these days, both SLRs and film cameras, you can buy light seal repair kits and uh, and fix them up. So the problem, the, the other one that I bought of these, I think it's probably okay with the light seals in this one, but this one doesn't. But the beauty of this camera is that if your light meter is not working, you've got fully manual setting. You can fully set your aperture and you can set your shutter speeds. The shutter speeds go from... Um, they go up to one five hundredth of a second. B to one five hundredth of a second. Your apertures, your apertures are um, from one point six up to two. Um, sorry, from two point eight up to sixteen uh, f stops, and you've got a fully automatic setting as well. So it's a very versatile little camera. I'll just let you have a look on the the top of the uh, what's on there. If I can get that in close enough, so you can see what's on there. And there's the lens. So out of all these four cameras, and they feel beautiful, if you can get them all going, they're all very worthy cameras to have. Um, you said I'm a bit, be a bit worried about the zone focusing of um, of one of them there, which was what? That was the... Um, that was the Yashica. That had zone focusing. So, but I'd recommend them. Look around for some of these. Um... I'm going to, uh, when I eventually get a film back from a couple of these cameras, I'll, I'll probably do a further review and then um, show you the results. I'm a bit slow on getting films developed. I've got so many cameras and so many of them have got film in them. Anyway, I hope you find that interesting. Look around for these. Just, just a beautiful little camera to have in your hand. And this is just fully automatic. You can have it fully automatic. 
point and shoot automatic style but you can also adjust your focus with the split image rain finder you can use a flash pc socket adjust your apertures all you need if, if the battery is not working um, and the light meter is not working you can do it all manually use a light meter you can do a light meter app for your phone and you can read the light and just take away and shoot beautiful 30 35 millimeter cameras these are all 35 millimeter so once again thanks for watching i hope you found that interesting i love these cameras i've got a few other variations of them as well i think <laughs> and uh show you these couple here to finish off with again thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you wish and i'll see you next time